Today we will talk about something that's surprisingly uncommon when it comes to car talks and that's parts cleaning of your engine internals and even block before final assembly which is quite crucial for engine longevity, lifespan, and durability. We will show you something that's oftentimes either neglected or skipped by most builders. And we will show you a lot of good ways of cleaning the block properly. This way, your engine is gonna be in good, good running order. And we'll also talk about pistons like this a few steps on on cleaning it and how to not damage the pistons while you're cleaning in all its functions and this will be a type r piston that we're going to show you because we're running super tech remember and as usual we will get carried away by sharing tips and tricks so let's go <laughs> Let me freeze frame this for a second. Let me take advantage of this moment that because this is a B20 block, notice the Allen plug from the oil drain here, we've removed it. We're going to run a breather fitting to let the crankcase breathe better because on stock form, it, it has a big Allen plug. But that's because the stock CRV barely reaches 7,000 RPM on the red light. And you know, we never reach that high when you're driving a CRV, but when you run a VTEC head or even if you're gunning for efficient, even your regular CRV B20 could have an advantage or could really use having an extra breather because it'll just be running more efficient. Like our friend's CRV way back, it was running more than 35 miles per gallon, but that's because the stock CRV had a complete breather system. And if you remember this video, you gotta check it out again to understand the significance of the breather and as well as this piston rings video. And we're gonna have it, all the links in the descriptions. So don't worry about that. So now let's go on. So when I said earlier that most builders do not remove this or you know most of them and not all because i know some of them just do it properly do it really well they don't remove this and clean the tunnel and we'll show you how dirty that is and mind you this is a b20 block that's never been used locally but we just clean the outside so you'll see Oh, and later, if you remember the video earlier on inspecting the crank, if you remember we showed you the, where the oil passes in all, from the mains to the rods, right? You remember in this video, right? In the crank inspection video, we were showing you from the, it's coming from the mains, then it feeds the rod journals for the rod bearing. So in this cleaning video, we will show you how to properly clean it with a few tricks. Now let's head back to the block. But of course, let me show you my crude lighting effect. Okay, there's the spotlight and the stand and of course the shop light. And then another one. So we run two. This That's why it's been a lot clearer for you guys. So hey, we're trying our best here. Okay, now let's go back to the block. And we remove this plug because the oil goes comes in from here from the oil pump to the filter and then goes back to this a different tunnel that feeds the main bearings and of course the oil jets for the b16 and b18 so let's remove this so we're going to show you what's oftentimes not cleaned because this allen plug is not even removed all right but first, we're going to tilt the block to show you guys the details of the oil path or the oil pathway. All right. Wait, it's going to tilt this. All right, wait. Let me try it. All right, there. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Okay, now let's move the camera higher. And let's do some time lapse to move the remove the main cap, the number one main cap to show you guys. All right, there. And you can see here, that's the tunnel, right? And look, let me get something to point at it so that I can show you guys. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there. That's the... Oh, wait, this, it doesn't fit. Crap. Let's find the wire. All right, see? The main bearings get fed oil from the tunnel all the way to the bearings. That way. And that is why the oil jet or the oil thrower is located there, remember? For the B16s and the B18. So if you don't clean it, it might clog or get dirty, you know? Okay, so we inverted the block. Okay, we use a wire because, you know, we don't have a wire brush or something like that. So we just use a regular wild wire that everyone can do and a piece of cloth that's lint-free, okay? It has to be lint-free just to be safe. Okay, wait. Oh, uh, can't open this. We kind of make a sort of a sponge at the tip or at the end so that when you spray WD-40 on the oil tunnel, you can clean it off, all right? Wait. There. Then, of course, after you do this, you rinse it with either a carb cleaner or gasoline before solvent and water all right there all right it's good okay now we're gonna try to spray it and show you guys how how dirty it could be you know all right let's go all right now our favorite wd-40 and did you know wd-40 means water dispersant or water displacement and the 40 is actually the 40th formula or mix that they did that actually worked so they had 39 tries and the 40th one was actually what works so that's wd-40 all right now let's shake it shake it well and then we spray some to get it clean we use wd-40 first and then carb cleaner all right so you'll see this we actually did this earlier and if you guys get to try this or do this which which i highly suggest you would notice it's gonna turn black but let's see now because we've cleaned this before all right you turn it you know, and you can go on both sides or both ends, you know. The transmission side, there's still an Allen plug, you know, but we got loosened it. Wait, I can't pull it. Need the long nose pliers. Got weak hands. I need food. All right. Oh, crap. Oh, no, it stopped. Wait, wait. Turn it. Wait, wait. Come on, come on. Oh, there. Look. Look at the, that dirt. And when you think about it, we are already cleaned this before. And it's still dirty, you know. So imagine engines that never opened this or never cleaned that, right? All right, let's turn it to show you guys on the transmission side. You got to remove it too, right here. See, that's never been, you know, that's usually not even touched for most builders. But all the good builders, they know this needs to be removed and cleaned. That's the difference. And it's usually not known for onlookers, but the results would actually show for it, right? Now, lastly, let us show you guys. Look how dirty it is. Take note, we've cleaned this before, okay? So imagine surplus engines that's never been cleaned or removed the Allen plug. That would have been black, you know. And trust me, whenever we do this from a fresh surplus, oh, it's so dirty you can't even imagine. This is why we laugh when they say it's fresh. Okay, now before anything, after we get to clean up the block, even the crank, the rods, and the pistons, we actually spray WD-40 once again, and then we put the whole block in the palangana, you know, to pressure wash it with water and soap. And palangana is actually a Tagalog word that's for laundry equipment, you know. And when I checked, it's actually water basin. I didn't know that. I mean, I've been using the word water basin or basin. I just never connected it. And well, now I know. And now, one thing I want you guys to make sure you check is the threads or the crank snout, all right? Because the pulley bolt, if it's not clean, the threads, it'll start to act up or cross thread, therefore not tighten the pulley, and then it breaks off the snout. 
on the B series is not that common, but on the single overhead cam or the D series or the SOC, oh, it's it happens a lot of times, you know. And it's like here, look at this pulley. If it, if this part is not thick enough, what happens is the pulley bolt thread bottoms out on the crank here, and that always happens especially when single overhead cam runs the replacement pulley the thickness is not as consistent and therefore it starts breaking off the snout right sorry about the rain as you can hear earlier there were thunders now it's raining okay now onto the crank a little trick that we learned you fold the tip of the red whatever you call it for the wd-40 so that on the main journal you can turn it towards the rod journal you know as we explained it earlier in the previous video right okay now it's, it fits all right now we're gonna put that on the snout of the wd-40 wait let's fold it just to be sure all right so it's like 90 degrees all right Okay, now we put it in and you can see how it actually goes out of the rod journals okay we're gonna spray it now come on there there see this way the cross drill of the oil pan is actually cleaned up and then after this we are actually gonna spray it with the carb cleaner the same exact way this way it's totally clean oops okay starting to waste this right but you know you cannot you can never be too clean all right and then here this is the carb cleaner that we're going to use after all right this way the crank is clean in and out now let's look close look how dirty that is that's a white cloth you know and look at those dirt it's going to go straight to your bearings if you're not cleaning that you know even on the block it goes straight to your bearings you'll have unusual problems and we're gonna show you a set of bearings that we had to remove or when we disassembled the engine we were surprised at what we saw because the engine wasn't broken or acting acting up it was just slow or not as strong as we would expect and at the same time it was consuming way too much gasoline so we knew it wasn't normal you know so we had to disassemble the engine and this was built by a by a shop somewhere which will remain nameless because we're not in the blame game you know now look at those bearings look at those rod bearings you can see the dirt lines up with the oil hole so it was the dirt coming from the mains onto the rod journals and embedding onto the rod bearings and the thing here is this runs you know there's no problem with it it's just that it's not probably spinning freely therefore not making power and consuming too much now because we're running super tech pistons this brand new we don't need to clean it but we're gonna show you a set of uh itr pistons we're sorry that we don't have some used piston rings that you can snap off for the top ring you scrape it there and then the second ring and also the second ring can serve to scrape the dirt on the ring lens don't scrape too much just you know just remove the dirt and then this is why we always have the paper cups and so i'm sure someone would notice we have jollibee and mcdonald's hey when we need paper cups we gotta order mcdonald's right i mean instead of using plastic that causes pollution and you know it hurts the turtles we use paper cups we put wd on the cup and then just brush it along you know on the pistons and if it's a little dirty or full of carbon you can spray wd-40 and leave it overnight and trust me it'll soften up and you get to clean it a little better right and i'm sure all of this seems surprising because it's not gonna cost you anything more just clean up with the extra steps that we showed you guys right so stay tuned for more good stuff from us